wanted to show you a re this is the actual trading in real time of Accenture stock on Thursday, the day the market collapsed. As you know, Accenture at one point traded down to a penny. Here is the time and sales screen showing the uh, uh, one minute chart of Accenture. Just to point a few things out with the cursor, each of these bars represents one minute in time. These are candlestick charts showing high, low, close for the minute time period. Over here on the right, we're seeing the actual trades go through. Time, price, and the amount of shares traded. And down here at the bottom right, you will see actually the bottom, actually this screen here, we're, we're showing level two, which shows the different market makers. In this stock, it's mostly the ex different exchanges. So we have the New York Stock Exchange and ARCA, which is the electronic trading platform for the New York Stock Exchange. I want you to watch what is happening here. Right now we're showing the stock's already down 10 points. Now now watch. NYSE stays at 39 bid. ARCA shows a penny. CBOE, set, which doesn't trade stocks, I don't know why that shows up. But ARCA shows, now it's going so fast you can't even keep track. But as you, what, what I noticed was several things. One, it only went a penny bid on the electronic exchange. New York S. New York Stock Exchange, which is the primary market, never fluctuated much from the bid on the bid price. And on the right side, time and sales, it never did trade down. It never actually traded to those low levels. So we, we can even scroll back a couple of minutes. Well, I take that back. Here was 100 shares traded at a penny. 100 shares at a penny. 84 cents, 64 cents, 74 cents, 64 cents. These are the actual trades that went through. So while there were a few trades at that low price, watch, watch the time and sales. So it goes, here's about the start of it. So we're trading in the 33, 31 area. Now the bottom drops out, 30, 28 a couple of trades, 33, 31, 30 on up. Drops to 27, 24, 20, 19 down to five, 17 down to five. Scroll back, go a little further. Now we're starting to see the abnormalities. $1.88 a dollar, $4.50. Here's the penny. Now these all happen within the, this is all within a couple of seconds. If you notice, the time here when, this, when the thing was trading normal prices, relatively speaking, the time was 11.47 and 49 seconds. Here when it traded a penny, 11.47 and 54 seconds. We're talking about five seconds. Five seconds. Here's another cent. And then within 10 seconds, it was back up to 33. So it was about a 10-second period of time where it traded these completely abnormal trades. A couple more were scattered here and there. They could have been late, uh, late reports. But then basically it goes back to where it was trading before all this happened. The only thing I can think of was uh, the system broke down as trades we're bypassing the NYSE going straight to ARCA. For some reason, the bid on ARCA was down there at the uh, in the penny range, and trades were done there. If you were a seller of this stock and you had an order to sell it, you're going to be pissed off, and you can show this time in sales that shows that the bid on the primary exchange never fell below approximately $39. Why an order would have been routed to the... Uh, Orders are supposed to be routed to the best bid. If you're trying to sell a stock, orders are supposed to be routed to the best possible bid. That's where the computers are. For some reason, the orders were, must have been routed to ARCA, which showed a bit of a, bit of a penny for a while, which still doesn't make any sense to me.